Not enough justice. Like, <laughs> epically awesome band of musicians that are here. The band is Jester, and we are going to hear so many awesome things tonight. Some stories. We're going to cook with a. I heard he's famous. Is he excellent? You've all been at his home, and he like makes epic food. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're going to make some Explains epic food. Explains as he goes what he's doing. Does he? Like, yeah, educational well. and everything. It's yeah. so oh, good. I we leave it. feeling bad about ourselves. Like, no, it's yeah. good. <laughs> All right, so introduce yourselves quickly, and then we're going to get on to, like, the chef part of it with Paul Lamb over here. Look at right, nervous. We're, we're, we're getting out of the way. Okay, so let's say you're our first. Where are you from, and what's your day job? Because this is a side gig. Well, day job. Epic side gig. Day job, we play in bands. Bands? Yeah, yeah what bands are you playing? Well, so or this is... solo gigs or whatever you do. This whole band is about Laura Connor. She's a new singer here from London, Ontario. I would be the only girl over here. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. There's another member of the band, too. We sort of have, sort of, what would we say, like you sort of revolving that? drummers? Yeah. Yeah, there just wasn't a lot of room <laughs> in here, so Chris McFarlane or Barry LeDrew, depending on who's, you know. Uh, so <laughs> Jay and I play in a band called Signal Hill. <laughs> woo woo! Big fans! And you, you introduce yourself. Yeah, Paul, Paul Lamb uh, from St. John's, Newfoundland. Uh, Yay! Yay! Ginger's excited. I've been playing for like a long time. You're off in Newfoundland, but you're not from Not me. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, London, Ontario. Yeah, London, Ontario. Uh, moved here recently. So, just looking awesome. off. Yeah. Not my full time yet, but hopefully. So. It's kind of the purpose of the band, really, is, yeah. is for us to have, because Paul used to be the lead singer of Signal Hill. Yeah, We've all been friends for, for years, right? And Paul's been talking for years about having a band yeah. for us. And playing. having a cooking show. Yeah. Man, yes. And he wants to be a chef. These are his favorite things. <laughs> and who are you? Come on. I'm Thank Jay. You. I'm Jay, Jay Metis, and I'm in Signal Hill as well. <laughs> Adam says he's the funniest of the group. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes, yes. There's a lot of stuff yes, you can't yes, you put on the air. <laughs> we're not problem. talking about certain things. There's a whole list of things we're not allowed to talk about. <laughs> 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 I was all my material is gone now. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> All right, so go off to the side. We'll call uh, you back in a bit. Paul Lamb, come on. Thank you, thank you. It was awesome. It's a Chef Paul Lamb thing. I know, much. Chef Paul Lamb, Chef Paul Lamb. I even got an apron with a little pink logo button on. Come on, come on, get your apron on. All right. Come on, I'm in. Come on, get your apron on. 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 Come on, get your apron yeah, I do. I love food. You were really not helpful in this whole process of, oh, what would you like to eat? Do you have a favorite cuisine? What do you? Oh no, I've pretty much cooked everything. He I said cook to me, everything, I was like, but I just, you know, I don't know. You're a chef. Yeah. I'm a musician. There's I like lots to cook. of chefs. Right. I sing sometimes. Do you? Yeah. In the shower. In the shower, I have a little little uh, acoustic guitar. Do you? A little piano. Yeah. yeah. I it tried cooking in the shower one time. It didn't no. work too well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you gave me sort of carte blanche to okay. pick a dish. Yep. 
You said you like Italian. I do. So I went to like one of my most classic Italian dishes. Okay. Pasta carbonara. Perfect. Do you know the history? Do you no, know, do you I, know want, what it I is? want to hear what the history is. You want to hear what it is? Yeah, I do. Okay. So I do. this is like one of the most screwed up Italian dishes. Yeah. I you probably that. had it. They a lot of restaurants mess it up. Yeah. It's very simple. Mm -hmm. We have our pasta. Tonight we're gonna to use a linguine. Yep. Extra long linguine. Nice. Woo -woo. Uh, we're gonna have eggs. Eggs. Parmesan cheese. You could use pecorino if you wanted to. Love it. Olive oil, salt, pepper, a little greens here. But this, mm -hmm. the key to this is this. It's this. It looks like pancetta. Woo! It's not though. But it's not. It's called guanciale. 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 Chit chat chat guanciale. And so guanciale. I told you what this was, but yeah. I will refresh your memory. This is the jowls the that are cured like ham. So it's oh. super soft. It's not smoky like bacon. No. But it's super soft. It's got all this luscious fat. It tends to be much fattier than you would get in a pancetta. Yeah. But there's only like a couple places you can get this in the city. And probably a lot of you might not be able to get it in your hometown. Yeah. If you can't get it, you can use pancetta. Yeah. So that would be like a good substitution. Yeah, so a good substitution. But you, this nice soft fat is going to render down in the pan. Mm -hmm. and it's going to coat the noodles. Perfect. And then we're going to add in the sauce. And there's no cream. I can't believe See, that. I, I thought, know. I thought there was cream. Everybody says, oh, say yeah, it. cream. No I cream. You, the eggs went with the cream. Nope, no cream. The, yeah. the egg yolks. Yeah. Yeah. They sort of cook up and coagulate, and the yeah. Parmesan cheese in there, and it's this creamy, gooey, ooey I'm mess. This. Yeah. Co All okay, eggs. comment. All yes, eggs. Ginger. Yes, Ginger. This guanciale came from our friends at the Italian market. Love that place. And my lovely husband picked it up yesterday. Nice. I searched around. There's not a lot of places where you can get guanciale. Yeah. So yeah. So I'm gonna get you chopping right off the bat. I'm not okay. even gonna like give you any directions. Okay. And you want like little tiny little pieces, like <laughs> no, slice and then not too pieces? big. So this is what you're gonna do. You show them. We want lardon. So we want something that has a little bit of a bite. Yeah. In French, they call it lardon, which is sort of a chunk, often yeah. with bacon. Quarter so you're gonna inch. cut. Yeah, about that. Yeah. So I would say, you're not, you don't have to cut this whole thing up, so okay. if you cut half of it, and then yeah. when you get to this point, we're gonna cut Strips. those in half. Yeah. We want a pretty good chunk in there. It's gonna get crispy, oh, okay. and then you're just gonna chop oh, nice. it up like that, okay? Perfect. yeah. You can handle that? I can do Chef it. Chef Paul? I can handle Chef it. Chef Paul. Chef Paul. I will do that. All right, so yeah. tell me a little bit more about this awesome jester band that you're in. Well, you know what? I, I've been playing for a long time. Like I said, back in Signal Hill, I had a band called Crush for a while. I've been doing a lot of solo stuff, writing songs. I'm doing an album right now. And, um, but I also, I just want to have a band where I wasn't the singer. I want to be, play electric guitar. Collaboration with a whole bunch of cool people. And I met Laura and I'm like, well, you know what? This will be awesome. Laura can sing. I'll play electric guitar, sing some harmonies, not be the main focus. And that's exactly what I wanted to do. That's awesome. And of course, that's what the boys want to do too. So we figured we'll put it together and uh, do it. And we're doing it. You're doing it. We are. That's exciting. All right. I, I say you're good there. We'll put yep. this back on. <laughs> Yeah, a couple Dar comments. Darcy Blackburn uh, says, Chef Lan. Darcy Ooh. Black, oh yeah, yeah. Love Michelle it. Michelle Proxen, thumbs up. Dar algae look like scrunchies. Dar Darcy gave me some oh, deer meat. Oh, they are like scrunchies. If you keep cooking them, they are exactly like scrunchies. Yeah, gotta love scrunchies from Newfoundland, right? Love it. Yeah, have you ever had them? No. Come on. Nope. You have I've only been to Newfoundland once. What? But I, did you, I don't know if you watch Anthony Bourdain, Parts Unknown. I do. Watched, oh. So they just went to Newfoundland last week. Did you see that? I saw that. that. I saw that. And they had scrunchies. And I, I think I've watched the episode like six times. Yeah. In the past week, I just loved it. But no, I haven't had scrunchies. I know. I'm gonna go. We're gonna go. Ginger and I are gonna do a road trip sometime. We're gonna go explore you Newfoundland. Need to. Like three weeks in an RV, all the way around the island. That's what you gotta do. You can't yeah. just go and go for four days. Well, you know, everything's very different. Newfoundland is very different all the way around. Oh. I have four or five people from Newfoundland that work for me. Yeah. The it's whole a island. whole other ball game. You're going to root for New Brunswick. Not, <laughs> not to mention the dialects. I know, I know. You're right. You're right. I mean, I'm from New Brunswick, but there's nothing. You got nothing on Newfoundland. I know. That's good, though, It's right? awesome. You guys bring a lot of fun and a lot of energy. Pardon? Okay. You are hard workers. All right, so we're going to have salted boiling water here. I didn't salt it yet. Okay. So generally, the rule of thumb, you don't want it too salty, right. but you need it salty enough. So it's 10 grams per liter. It needs to taste like the Nova Scotia ocean. It does, like the ocean. So we're just going right. to fill that in. We got it bubbling here. What did you say the amount was again? 10 grams per one liter. 10 grams, 10 grams per one liter. 10 grams of salt per one liter. Okay. Or you could just do this, right? So for, for, the people, for the people at home oh, yeah, who don't salty. measure oh, in no, grams, because there's a lot of home cooks, what, what, what would you oh. say would be teaspoon or tablespoon? OK, so this, I'm going to guess, is about four to five liters of water. Yeah. So I'm going to guess you need about three tablespoons, right? See? Perfect. That's about your secret. Or if you were my mother, yeah. God bless. 
She's a lovely cook. Yep. She put about a teaspoon in there, and then I'd be coming up behind her putting on the whole opposite. Bunch of I yeah. put extra salt in everything. <laughs> But you have to be careful on that because you can't take it out. You can always add it in in the end, right? I yeah. But I do always put extra salt. I have friends. I have friends at home that cook, and yeah. they go, my, "But my food tastes so bland." It's and I say, "You know salt. what? Trust me. Dab some salt on it, and you're good to go." I'm with you. Fat, butter, salt, cream, any of that stuff you add it to your food. I know. It's delicious. Mwah! I love it. It's delicious. All right, so we've got a little really good olive oil here. We're just okay. gonna add a little bit to this pan, and we're gonna we're gonna saute up the guantale. Guanciale. Guanciale. That's it. I gotta right. buy some just so I can say it. Just so you can say it. You can add that right in. Guanciale. Turn it down just a tad. Now, how would you like me to put that in? Just grab with my hand. Throw in the band. Perfect. Put it right with the hands. Here we go. We're good to go. Get in there. Sizzle Get right away. Get right in there. I love it. Sizzle away. Don't cut yourself. But yeah, I'll try you not to. Okay. And that's it. All right. That's it. We're gonna let that cook up. So you don't want to basically deep fat fry it. If it's super crispy, it's gonna be super chewy. Okay. So you want to get a nice little color on the outside, but you still want it to be soft because that's going to go with the luscious egg sauce, the pasta. It's going to blend nice. all together, right? Because if it gets yeah. too, today, I did it a little earlier today and I gave it to the staff and I think they were a little chewy. Ah. I kind of walked away from the stove, which I've been known to do. Yeah. So really all we're going to do is we're going to saute that off and we're going to add our linguine. So again, this is sort of a portion for two, maybe yeah. a little bit extra. So you're going to do about 220 Man. grams. See, that's what you do yes, for portion that's for two. Right. And these are extra long, so I'm going to break them in half when we put them in the salted water. Oh, this is the fun part. Yeah. Look. The Bring strength. The brute strength. It. Should I push it in? Well, if you push it, then your bottom is w cooked way more quickly Thanks. than your right. top. Sarah, Sarah yeah. that's a lesson Watch for you. Watch out for that. I love you, but listen to you Patty like motion and al dente. Ball. Motion al dente. You don't want that. You want <laughs> no, consistency. You don't. And this consistency. is probably going to take six to seven minutes. Once it comes back up to a boil, it shouldn't be very long. And that's you know I think we should mention that too because there, there are common little tiny mistakes that, that that the person at home who doesn't always cook make and one of those is when you're, is overcooking and that happens with a lot oh, of things with everything well with everything Indeed. but but with pasta you got to be careful because you really don't want mushy pasta you you really want it to be al dente yes. as long as it's not crunchy it's good yes. but don't overkill it and also if it has a little bit of bite to it you can pull it out because you're going to end up saucing it. So it's always going to continue so to cook, right? right it's just right. like meat. Pull it out. If you want to go up five more degrees, ten more degrees, pull it out, let it rest, and it's going to come up to ten. Yep. So many questions tonight, Adam. Yep. Adam's been so cool. I don't even, I can't even catch up. Awesome. So sorry if I'm not getting everything, but so yep. our friend Mia Voss is here. She's taking me. You had me a fat butter and salt and cream. She's yep. right uh -huh. She's uh, keto. She's lovely. Uh, she's coming next to, uh, we're cooking pasta next carbonara. So pasta so carbonara. Cooking. And I've never made this dish ever. I know. I, I love pasta, but I've never made this one. I looked around. I said, so I'm, I'm gonna bet that he hasn't done this. Yep. And Don Marie maybe... says you're wicked at this. Oh, okay. Who All said right. that? Don, Don Marie. Marie. Oh. Another new friend. friend. Rob cooks one. Cookie's so, watching. Rob cooks. You can see you're starting to get the fat rendered off here a little yep. bit. You get a little bit of crispy, but it's staying pretty soft. Yeah. So I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit. We're gonna it's let a little it. Bit, see you. A little like, bit more at of that home. Right don't be afraid. See the smoke. Don't be afraid of smoke when you're cooking. Sometimes you have to have a little smoke. But you got to keep your eye on it. If you're not trained, I'm with you. a timer is very good a timer to use. Is good. But realistically, I think that. And don't walk away from the stove. Don't like walk away from the stove. Yeah. Bad thing. Bad thing. Bad thing. But but a little bit of smoke is okay because you want to sear stuff and get a little color in there, and it not, and it also caramelizes the sugars and and makes it taste better, Shit, doesn't it? Paul. Maybe right. you should come right. host. Right. 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 Yeah, Paul. Chef Paul. 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 <laughs> like stuff with knives flying everywhere. All but, right, so the sauce. This okay. is where it gets controversial. Right. This is what I'm waiting for. The controversial. Time. Everybody thinks there is cream in pasta carbonara. There yeah. is not cream. I love this. Not cream. Not cream. So we have a bowl. Bowl. We have two whole eggs, eggs. cracked in here. No shells, Chef Paul. No shells. Crack, crack no shells. No shells. Let's see if okay, I can do that. so I'm going to do this. Solid way. surface. I do deep. solid surface like this. Yeah. And like oh, that. you do one hand. Let's see, then you risk breaking it. Did you want okay. me to break it? No, no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. You're going to whip it up anyway. Oh. Okay. And then the last one we're going to do is just the yolk. Just the yolk. So I'm going to... So do you do it in the shell or do you do your fingers? I do or both. Perfect. It depends. If I'm doing 100 eggs, I'm going to use my fingers or I'm going to... Yeah. Here we go. Take forever. All right, so you're going to whisk that up. Whisk that up? Okay, that no up. problem. And then we're going to add... We've got some nice Parmesan shavings here. Doesn't matter you how could much use, is No, 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 no. We're going to add this in and crumple it up a little bit. Come that's on. That's going to be your... That's it. 
and pepper. Do you see how easy this is at home? Easy, easy. Like, it's not yeah. hard. And so you can make craft dinner, and sometimes <laughs> I even make craft dinner because it's, it's good. But you can do this. It's two ingredients. There's cheese and eggs in here. Oh. See right here. Can you put it over here? This is awesome. Look. Eggs and cheese. As simple as Eggs, that. Eggs, cheese, and pepper. And uh, so I'm not putting salt in yet because we're okay. going to season salt at the end because... The guanciale is very salty. salty. So you want to be able to adjust that when you're making it, right? Okay. So finish at the end. If we need yep. to add a little bit of salt, we can. Okay. Well, look, that's it. So once the pasta is cooked, we're okay. going to add that in. We're going to finish. And that's it. Okay, that's i got to see. I, I know, see I know, like, I know. It's I hard know. to believe. I know. Magic of all things kitchen door and uh -huh. chef shop. Yeah. Cool. All right, any other exciting things going on? Uh, any other exciting things going on? Um, what do you like to cook at home? You said you have a son. I do have a son. And, and he's a foodie, like you? You know what? Can he inherit I, some of it? Okay. I, I don't, I'm, I'm hoping he will, because the way I look at food, I look at food, I love food. Yeah. And I think that food is one is a thing that should be enjoyed. Um, so I'm trying to teach him to appreciate food. I'm trying to get teach him to taste food. Put, like try everything yeah. at least once. Put it in your mouth, close your eyes, taste it. Mm -hmm. That's what food should be. Food brings together um, family, it does. friends. It does. Uh, you think of every major event in your life, there's always food. food. And hopefully good food. And hopefully good food. Because <laughs> if it's bad food, they talk about it a lot. Oh, yeah, not Do you remember that party where they had that really bad <laughs> potato salad? Uh, no, it's totally the way. But my, our rule in our house is five times. Five so times? you don't get away until you've tried it five times. Yeah, that's a good And my goal. son is a super foodie. My daughter is not as good along mm -hmm. the way. She's a, very, she's a grazer, like fruit and cheese, that kind of stuff. But it's like not a pasta lover. We don't make a lot of pasta because she doesn't love it. But anyway, okay. So we are let's, almost ready. Let's bring in some more friends. Let's bring in some more friends. Are we ready to come back? And we, and we can chat a little bit more about Jester. And we're going to finish the dish. We yeah. basically have almost every person every comment. Pub, pub cover band in the city is watching. Bruce is that right? Moore. You get Adam Driscoll. Lots of people watching. You can keep that on. We're not quite okay. ready yet. You're going to plate this up with me. Carolyn oh, Bishop says you need to know how lucky I am to have Paul as a husband. Uh, oh, look at that. Oh, you're not playing. You guys just do. You're just going to come in and chat. Oh, nice. Yeah. nice. It's not all about the music. <laughs> it is actually, though. No. I'm kidding. Right, I got it's not all about the food. Okay, so talk a little bit more. The smell. So, how did you all like get together? How did this all happen? Well, you just hang out with cool people. We've all been all friends forever, down, right? Like I mean, me and Jay, we Paul used to blow up our high school gym together. Yeah, so yeah. we did all the bad stuff back in the day, right? That might be a whole other episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like i got to point out, though, this is what it's like to go to dinner at Paul's house. Is it? Exactly. Next time I get invited. Yeah, okay. That's the deal? Six bottles of wine and the lights are a little lower. Other than that's exactly the same. Yeah, I'll have them in whisk and eggs and thrown cheese in it. I love it. Any go-to wines? Any favorites? You know what? Hey, move over to the side. I'm going to just you want, press the noodles. You want, you want honesty oh, for me? Yeah. I go to the liquor store and I walk through and I try so to... Do you buy by the label? I just buy by what, whatever is under 20 bucks. And I take it home and try it. And if it's good, I'll buy it again. If it's not, I won't. You're worried. It's simple. My husband says, oh, that has a really nice label. She nice. might like the label yeah, on that too. wine. Yeah. It's a very bad way to buy wine. Nice artwork. Yeah. Nice artwork. But there are some that like, you know, uh, I bought some wines that were on based on the label, like the red, red guitar and a couple. Where it used to be the it used to like the Bella Policella. Yeah, Bella, Bella Policella. Yes. Yes. Which would go with this. You just like things that you can say. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. I think it sounds Italian. I like so it if it comes in a box. Yeah. So we have the one. Uh, Cardboard. Cardboard. Card right. So we have, other than me, we have one person here that's not from the East Coast of Canada originally. So how did this oh, happen? Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, well, I actually like, visited here um, two years ago now, I guess, uh, for the first time with my sister because she was out here. Um, several times and always went on and on about how she loved Halifax and I was like Halifax uh, but <laughs> Halifax the best place in the world <laughs> well yeah and, that, and then so I, I loved it and I just obviously uh, love the music scene and everything so uh, I went actually to the lower deck when we were here and uh, Signal Hill was playing and I just felt like super inspired and I was like I really want to do this nice. as my career so that's kind of how it works, and I, yeah. And then you taught yeah. yourself how to play guitar. I taught myself how to play guitar, and, yeah. You taught yourself how to play guitar? Well, yeah. there's a little more to the story. She's being a little modest. I mean, her and her sister came to see Signal Hill. They sat in the front row, and I don't know, like, they something struck me that they were musicians. I don't know. It's the way they were reacting to things. And I talked to her sister, and she and I was like, you guys musicians? And she's like, oh, yeah, you should hear her sing. You should check our YouTube page. 
And I, if I had a nickel for how many times people said that to me, <laughs> right? Yeah. Same, right? Yeah. And I go to this YouTube page, it's like a million and a half views. And it's just videos that she just did for fun. That's awesome. It's on the page right yeah. now. It's on, it's on the screen. Woo! Yeah. Adam's very techy. It's well, right here. Well, all the Jester oh. videos, so I think we're going to we're gonna put there, too. Yeah, yeah. We're going to put them on my YouTube as well. Yeah. yeah. That's so. awesome. And, yeah. And, and it's just like, you know, you should do this for a living, which she never considered. I like, yeah. You I just, do this for I a living? Was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like being a chef for a living. Right. Uh -huh. that's where where, and that's where, where it came from. And she took every bit of advice that came to her and then started getting up and playing with you. Yeah. Yeah. And then now yeah. you guys play. Where is your next show? You're this Saturday. Saturday. At the Lower Deck. Yep. As a duo, right? Like yeah. You feel like I'll, play, I'll play a matinee at the Lower Deck 5.30 to 8.30 on Fridays and Saturdays. Oh, awesome. Sometimes Corey Tepper plays with me, but yeah. Corey's away a lot. Corey's awesome. So we started getting uh, Laura to come in and play the matinees man Saturday afternoon. That's awesome. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. That sounds like yeah. a good Saturday afternoon. Ginger. Is. Patty and I. Yeah, Ginger and I. All right, so we've got the pasta. We've coated it with all that lovely fat that's been rendered off. The guanciale. And can I mention that you all supported some stock? I, well, no, I just or put not in the stock, pasta water. Sort of pasta water, because yeah. pasta water helps the sauce adhere to it. It does. And we're going to add a, probably a little oh. bit more, is my guess. I know, he's just so knowledgeable. I think you're going to be a co host. I really right. think that's yeah, what's going to happen. I mean, this is my new favorite all right, show. So here's your <laughs> secret. Okay. You ready for the I secret? I see this done. Eggs, cheese. Eggs and cheese. All right, you ready? And you can't use mozzarella in there, right? No, 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 no. Okay, so we're going to add it in. The noodles have cooled down a bit. If you put these in when the noodles were super hot right out of the pot, you're going to scramble the eggs. I watch cooking shows too, guys. Well, that's the last one. She knows. She knows. All right, so watch this. All right, we're going to probably need a little bit more stock, is my guess, or my little more pasta water. We're going to add that in. And we're just going to move it around. You just dumped it all in? Yeah. So watch. Yeah, just dump. The dump. So watch, look at the bottom. See how it's getting all luscious in there? Yeah. So let's do a one ladle of sauce in there. Okay. One ladle of sauce. And you can see how creamy the noodles are starting to adhere. Here you go. Perfect. And we're going to add a little bit more cheese in there, which is going to also help with the creaminess. So again, no. But look, look at the sauce on the bottom. Looks like cream, not cream. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Seriously. Seriously. Epic. So you've got you've got that. Epic. And when you do pasta, you always want a little bit of sauce on the bottom. So if you yeah. go to a restaurant and you eat pasta out of a bowl and there's no sauce on the bottom, they've overcooked it and they've underdressed it. You always want a little bit. Or so salad or heat no, for, for, for 15 minutes. or 20 yeah. minutes, right? And the bowl's too hot to touch. Well, they the bowl's your salad too up. Yeah. <laughs> Under the heat lamp as well. <laughs> somebody's a picky eater. No. Sorry, All right, <laughs> somebody's a picky eater. So I'm going to do a little quick taste, see if we need a little seasoning. Is this for real? Like, we're going to actually eat this? We're going to eat this. Right like now. We didn't have supper for like, well, you know what? You I should have made more. I should have made more. You know what? I'm, I'm not really a picky That's eater. That's how they survive going around doing I just, <laughs> believe, <laughs> I just believe when you go to a restaurant, you should have, it should be good food. It's better than you can make at home. Yes. It's my, yeah. Which is and hard. I'm a big believer that if you make good food, fancy or not fancy, people will come from everywhere to eat it. Yes. When you put it in your mouth and you need, you need to go, mmm, that's good. And people will come from anywhere. I was always a big fan exactly. of your mother. You know what I'm saying? You're hilarious. Yeah. All right, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to go off, and I'm going to. This is what it's going to look like when it's done. You're going to sing a song, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to come back, and we're going to eat this. Nice. Do you That's like excellent. that? Looks beautiful. Micro is that beans? exactly how you would do it at home? Exactly how we do it at home. Okay. So are we going to do the chit chat chat now? This is chit -chat. You, okay. This is, this is like. Bay on 929. Right. Patty is on target. Nice. Not, but I mean that was better oh. because if. Oh, it's 925. No, it's oh, whatever. So okay. you want to get rid of them or something? Yeah. Okay. Stop it. Wow, that was good. Okay. So we're gonna do. If you watch the show till the end, and I'm not gonna test you because some people have come on the show and not one, really watched. One second, we should ask when are you guys play. When's Jester oh, yeah, yeah. playing? When's, when's the yeah. dates? Oh, Tell us. Jester totally forgot about that. Right here. Yes, we play our our first show September 15th at uh, Shooters. So ten dollars oh, ticket. Right we're gonna go. We're gonna walk home to yeah. Jester. We'll stuff. get together a bus yeah. for you if you need a ride out. It's true. <laughs> she lives there. There's a bunch of you guys. Well, it's yeah. our first like we're 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 on the bill like because we well, actually sat in with Rec House. So if you see videos of Jester around, those are from when uh, we sat in. Uh, okay. With, I was with playing at the Lower Deck. Yeah. Okay. I was at the Lower Deck for a couple okay. weeks and they, well, we haven't had a show. Now we played really. a set. That's Full awesome. show. And where did yeah. the name come from? Yeah. Where the yeah. It's just for fun. It was yeah. her idea, I think. Yeah. Oh, but it's just just her. Yeah. It's just her. Jester. She's a Jester. Actually, and she's kind of funny. She's just her. She is. She said she actually came to us and said, "I want to call the band Jester." And we said, "We're in." And they were like, "We're in. Sign me up." <laughs> now I should say that my my father was in a band years ago, and it was it was called Jester, and I thought it was a really cool name. Yeah. 
and uh, and we threw it around and yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Cool. All right, I'm going to go play. We're going to get this garbage out of front of them so they can support. And then when we come back, we're going to eat and we'll have a little special something for you. Perfect. Chef Paul. Wow. Yeah, Chef Paul. All right, cool. All right. You can, you can play in your apron well, or you can I, play I'm ready. Yeah, at least someone's ready. Is this, isn't this the way it always is with you get with your beds? Pretty well, yeah. yes. My job. Any line! Any line! Ladies and gentlemen. I'm very excited. Live from Sorry. Bedford. Live. <laughs> Jester. One idol. <laughs> One idol. One song only. I got the hat on order from Amazon. <laughs> you guys are good to go. Whatever. All right, here we go. What song are we in? Oh, yeah, I got it. I got Do it. Do we know? Yeah. That's a bad song. No, this is going to be good. <laughs> Count us in. Two, three, four. <laughs> Put some more Parmesan cheese over the top. I put a little bit more parm. Pick whatever one you want. Cool. Here Chase, you go. Chase, oh. oh, for you, Laura. For you. Thank you so much. There's extra here. Okay. Extra. extra. Okay. Nice. So, so you watch the end of the show. Anybody watch the end of the show? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Okay. So we have a we have a thing we do here. Okay. We have uh, we have to say chit chat chat five times fast. Oh, I did see this. Ooh. But we're not talking like chit chat chat chit chat chat. Okay. We gotta get the lips going. Chit chat chat. Yeah, but before I do that, 
I, I have an honorary chef certificate for Chef Paul Lamb, nice. wow. who has been schooled wow. in the art of pasta carbonara Woo! on Chichetra. Yes. Frame Thank it and so put much. it on your wall, Excellent. baby. Woo! Try as much. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, so before your first bite, awesome. we're going to do, Adam's going to count us down, Chichetra five times fast. Next week, Keith, Keith MacArthur, Stream Financial, very much looking forward to it. Keith, I don't know what we're going to make yet, but man, it's going to be epic. Nice. We've got all sorts of fun things, which we'll tell you about, but yeah. really, we're going to say chit chat five times fast, and we're going to eat this carbonara yeah, before it gets cold. Ready? Yeah. It's going to be fast. Three, two, one. chit chat chit 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 chit